Now, I must confess to a tiny twinge of British pride when the names of certain artists are mentioned. This next gentleman appeared on Broadway in Epitaph for George Dillon, and for many years now, he's been a leading actor with the National Theatre of England, and also he's now its co-director. A man of enormous accomplishment, one of the cleverest things he ever did was to marry the lady who accompanies him this evening. Now, she first appeared in New York as one of the new faces of 1956, and just a few days ago, she won the Academy Award for the Best Actress of the Year for the Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Now, she was unable to be in Hollywood to accept her award because that very evening, she was appearing with her husband in London in the premier performance of the Bow Stratagem at the National Theatre. They have flown here this afternoon to take part in the Tony Awards, and they'll be returning to England tomorrow morning. A lady of enormous accomplishment, one of her cleverest moves was to demand co-star marital billing with him. Ladies and gentlemen, Maggie Smith and Robert Stevens. But does being a new face in 1956 automatically make you an old one in 1970? No, Margaret. It's a slightly older face. <laughs> but age, like so many other things, is simply a matter of... It's quite relative. In fact, old age is simply a state of mind. In case anyone finds that statement at all contestable, Robert and I are very proud to introduce you to two remarkable human beings who are young in spirit because, among other things, they're pleased with each other. They have been pleased with each other for 40 odd years. They're rich in theatrical achievement. The Guardsman, Elizabeth the Queen, Reunion in Vienna, Design for Living, Amphitryon 38. Hideous delight, there shall be no night. I know my love. Oh, Mistress Mine, the great Sebastian. The list of their triumphs is an anthology of English-speaking theatre, and it is our tremendous privilege. And it, the smartest thing she ever did was to marry him. I know. Ladies That's and gentlemen, true. Miss Lynn Fontaine. And Mr. Alfred Lund. Antoinette Perry Tony Award is the most coveted reward that an actor can receive. And now, really because it comes from your own people and to be thought well of by your own people is a very pleasant thing. And now, Mr. Lant will talk some more on the same subject. <laughs> I have always felt it a great privilege to be in the theatre, and I am so grateful to the playwrights who have made it possible for me to remain in the theatre for so long. It's a terrifying business, but it has its compensations. Where, for instance, but in the theatre, could you meet such beguiling creatures as these two adorable people? <laughs> and where could you learn about your own country so thoroughly as you can through a tour arranged by the theatre, towns you never thought of visiting yourself? <laughs> And where but in the theater could I have found someone 
who for 50 years has given to me sheer enchantment. You are very kind, very generous, and we are very grateful. Thank you very much.